dead motorcycle battery. If I replace it, but I could have just recharged it, it's gonna cost me money I didn't need to spend. But if I just recharge it, instead of replacing it, and it leaves me stranded down the road again, it's gonna cost me even more money. So how can I tell if I should replace or recharge my dead motorcycle battery? That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. My name is Adrian from You Motorcycle. I do videos that help motorcyclists. Today I'm gonna to show you guys two ways to test your dead motorcycle battery to see if you should recharge it or replace it. I'm also gonna show you one easy way of testing your motorcycle's charging system because sometimes this isn't the problem, sometimes that is the problem. All right, so there are two ways to test a dead motorcycle battery. The first way is with a multimeter. A multimeter is a great tool because it measures voltage, current, resistance, you name it. Uh, you can use it for testing your motorcycle, your car, your house electronics. These things are great. So how we're gonna use our multimeter, we're gonna take it, set it to 20 volts, positive to positive, negative to negative. But we don't wanna test these when they just came in from being ridden or when they just came in from being charged or when they just came in from sitting outside for three weeks. We wanna just see what the battery's voltage is in its natural state. I'm gonna put a little chart up on the screen and essentially what you're gonna to wanna to do is charge your battery fully, then take it off the charger or if you just came in for a ride, just let it sit. After a couple hours, take your multimeter, set it to 20 volts, test it. See where the voltage is, see where it measures up on that chart. If it's in the green zone, your battery's probably fine. All you probably needed was just to recharge it. If it's in the red, you obviously are gonna wanna replace the battery altogether. See that's reading just about 10 volts. If it's in that yellow zone, you're gonna to wanna to know that your battery's on its way out. It's really gonna depend on the kind of life and treatment you've given it. If it's a fairly new battery that's from a good brand like Uasa, not from a no-name brand like BS battery, but you could still get maybe another year, another two years out of it. If something like this brand is yellow and you know it's fairly recent, you can probably keep on using it, just take better care of it. If it's a cheaper brand like this one, I would probably just replace it if it's in that yellow zone. But let's say you're like, Adrian, I hate math, I hate numbers, I failed the second grade. Is there any kind of simple color code way? The second way of testing your battery is with this. It's called a battery load tester. This thing is awesome. There's only one button, you really can't screw it up. And again, red for positive, black for negative. We clamp these on. And what we're interested in is this color code here where it goes green, yellow, red. Um, and we really want to just hit that button Hold it for 10 seconds and see how this needle reacts. Let's do this. So after about 10 seconds, it was kind of touching yellow, but it was still within green. So I'm thinking, you know what? This battery's probably good. Let's try the next one. So right away, we know this is weak. We knew that already. It's been fully charged. It's still weak. That should tell us everything we need to know. But let's say we were really on the fence. We'll use our load tester. I hit the button. Boom, right away, straight. As soon as we put a load against this battery, it drops down right to next to nothing. This battery, so in the red. Obviously, not to be saved, not to be trusted. You need to get rid of this battery right away. And you can tell after the test, it's not even weak anymore. It's in red. It's a bad battery. It's got to go. And now you're thinking, but Adrian, I'm extremely lazy and I don't want to access my motorcycle battery. Is there some other way I can do this? Of course. If your battery has one of these, it's called a battery tender pigtail. Basically, it allows you to plug in and charge your battery. Or you can plug in accessories. If your bike has one of these, you can actually use this because it has a positive and a negative terminal. Let me show you. All right, so make sure you watch this part because this part is really important. What you wanna make sure you do is test your motorcycle's charging system. Unless you know for sure that you've neglected your battery, there is a possibility that there could be something wrong in your motorcycle's charging system, and that's why your battery wasn't charged. So we're gonna take that pigtail I was showing you earlier, so that way I don't have to work directly with the battery, and we are gonna take our multimeter. Again, multimeters are super useful. They're only like 15 to $20. I strongly, strongly recommend grabbing one of these because they come in so much handy. And we're gonna just take a peek here. Positive, negative. Okay, so here we can clearly see this battery, 13.5 volts, because it just came off the charger. What I want you guys to see is right now, I'm about to turn the key, and let's see what happens. To the on position, that immediately drops down to 12.8, 12.7, 12.6, 12.5. Why is it dropping? 
because when we do that, we are lighting up the dash, we're turning on the computer, we are lighting up the headlight. Everything that the electronics are doing, they're drawing away from that battery. So it makes sense that when we have the power on, the battery's having the juice sucked out of it. But I want you guys to see what happens when I hit that starter. So I'm a one-man team. I'm sorry if the camera angles are a little bit shaky or not the best. But as you can tell, the headlight's on. That's why we're reading less than 12 volts. And I hit the starter. Okay, so what the heck just happened, right? We're trying to turn it over, trying to turn it over. The voltage is getting lower and lower and lower. That makes sense because we're drawing more power out of the battery every time we try and turn the motor over. And then what? Boom, finally fires up, right? And then the voltage spikes right up to 14.3 volts. That is the most voltage we've seen in this whole video. And that means the charging system is working how it's supposed to. If your charging system cannot get your battery over 14.3 volts, and if you rev it up even higher than 14.3 volts, your charging system is a problem. Your battery may be a problem, but your battery is kind of like the effect of the bigger problem. And the bigger problem is not the battery. The bigger problem is the bike charging system. So please make sure that you test your motorcycle batteries. Make sure that you know if your battery will or won't leave you stranded. Replace it if you need to. Don't spend money if you don't. But also test your charging systems because you could have a charging system problem not necessarily just a battery problem and you don't want to be stranded again after you just spent money on a new battery that would really suck like this video if you want to encourage me to make more videos aimed at helping motorcyclists like it if you found it helpful subscribe if you want more videos that could possibly help you out my name is adrian check out your motorcycle.com ride safe but have fun peace